Yo, welcome Frony. So today, the biggest patch since Throne and Liberty release hit in Korea, and I'm gonna guide you through all the important information, because we don't know what will hit global release and what will not, so let's dive in. the like main content that is being released is a new area and therefore also a new main story quest line and alongside this the level of the characters is increased to 55. something unexpected is that they also increase the stats that you are now getting from reaching certain thresholds it used to be that threshold 60 was the highest and now they've added additional values for reaching 70 stat points which makes sense because they're also releasing new gear and all of that we have a higher level so we have more access to points they have also increased the level to 25 of all the life skills so for fishing cooking and army toy expedition also added three star dungeons that you can access with a new currency so you will not use your old dungeon currency to open the chests by defeating the monsters it's a new separate currency allowing you basically for more runs every day i assume they are also already preparing for the global launch because they have increased the amount of portals that are spawning in like peace mode from three to five for example for field bosses another thing they have changed is that they made it so when you're attacking an elite monster not the person that attacked first is getting the loot the person with the highest contribution is getting it that could lead to some loot steal opportunities when you see like a weaker person there doing a mob and you just go by and just take his progress and his loot not too much a fan of this honestly then something we'll have to dig deeper with testing the next days but they are saying that faction battle area events will be held less frequently and i'm like what like i really like those events it's fun to participate either solo or in a team doesn't matter depending on the event like so i think it's sad that they are reducing it here in the new area they have also added 24 new types of fish that will also be used in new food and all of that they have added according rods so you can farm rods there to acquire those probably harder to catch fish in the area they've also added multiple other options that you can gather now probably according to the recipes so you have new materials to craft higher recipes and something i'm really interested in when the game is launching the arena system is now finally out of the pre-season like the beta the testing and they have started in korea now the first official season for arena bait gameplay it is still staying 3v3 but you now have the option to either get a rank by queuing in solo or get a rank by queuing in with your team. Important to note about the new arena system is that weapon combinations will be limited. So for example, you cannot go and enter with three people running dagger as often. The weapons are limited to either two users in a group or only one. I'm not too sure yet what to think about this, but my general first thought was oh nice we are having a wider variety of a meta it makes more sense now to build up your team efficiently but on the solo queuing part I will, i'm not too sure if this might increase like the waiting time for finding a meta. if it doesn't increase the waiting time to a unbearable amount i think this change is really good to balance it out overall they have added a lot of new equipment i think on all the new equipments and their potential i will make a separate video but just to mention here 154 types of new equipment seven new obsidian weapons new transformations new army toys five new guardians even like they have added a lot of new gear they have also added the option now that if you are dissolving arch boss weapons you are getting fragments to craft other arch boss weapons this is a pretty interesting step because this basically allows you to drop any weapon no matter if you need it or not and you could dissolve it and push it into your favor so this gives a lot of value to arch boss weapons that we are like not that looked after compared to ones that are so basically no matter what you're dropping you're getting a really good value and something else um, they have done probably based on the open beta feedback where people even though it was a bit rushed the experience we're still complaining that the early game felt not that smooth and that um, like the questing felt some kind of boring and they some people got stuck in like certain things so they did 
reduce the overall difficulty of the leveling process a lot. So now we are at the second part of the patch notes where it is going more about the balance topic. And here they have done something that I've already recommended doing on stream, that they are going for separate values between PvE and PvP on their skills. And I think this is a lot easier to balance it out this way. So I like that approach that they have put additional damage to bosses, to all the weapons that were not performing that well in PvE to balance it out, which I am a, a giant fan of. And they have done changes to certain weapons. I don't want to go over all of them because the majority of the changes is not like bad, I would say, for a class. The only thing I want to go over like a bit in detail is a new skill that was being added for the crossbow. And this one is called survival stack. The more stack you are getting, you are getting skill damage and critical damage stack. So this could be uh, really interesting because critical damage was really hard to come by and you now have a new opportunity to get it on crossbow to make up for some nerfs they did um, regarding selfless diffusion and all of that. So um, yeah, let's see how that turns out. I will do a separate video on how the effective DPS of crossbow dagger is being affected by that chain. Then for overall PvP balancing, they have added a new stat, this is PvP damage reduction. And starting from level 31, you will get 0.5% every level, capping out at 10% at level 50, and not increasing power while you go into the new level caps. This is their approach to get the time to kill um, higher, because people were complaining the fights were over too fast. They have also claimed that by going to level 55, the general health that you have, like the base and the health you're getting per strength, will increase a bit. So I am not sure if this change will actually increase the time to kill or if newly released equipment and weapons will make it so that you're actually maintaining this, the same time to kill because you are just um, also added like additional power and not only the damage reduction. In general, people have been complaining about skill not being accessible in the early game, the early game combat feeling not that smooth in comparison to the end game. And I would say right. And in a big rant that I had about the delay, I was already saying like, uh, if that's such a big deal, why don't you change the skill specialization requirement level to a lower level? And well, they did it. If you maybe remember when we were doing resonance on stream, we had the option to roll and the rolls were like 10% chance and all of that. It was really expensive. And now you actually have the option to skip the RNG and go directly for what you want. Another change they did to amplify teamwork is they have increased the value of the chest that you can gather together as a guild. Another change they did, which I think is really nice, like the merchants that exist in the game. They used to have like different cooldowns and different stuff that they would sell to you based on the region they were in. And now they are all unified. And no matter to what merchant you are going, you will receive the same kind of goods. Yeah, guys, that was it with the most important parts about the patch hitting career. If you still have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments. I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. And you can tune in in the live stream tomorrow where we are going to check out the new area and level 255 together. Cheers, guys.